Elizondo says ATIP also identified another pattern. In several instances, UAPs have allegedly appeared near American nuclear facilities or weapons systems. Both the Nimitz and the Roosevelt are nuclear powered. We do know that there is a very significant interest that UAP have towards our nuclear technology. A daunting thought to be sure. But Elizondo says ATIP also developed a hypothesis that the UAPs might have an Achilles heel, a vulnerability that the American military can exploit. Electromagnetic pulses of some kind could bring down these craft. Yeah, the general consensus was that these vehicles, the propulsion units, are susceptible to electromagnetic pulse, meaning they are using a technology that the electromagnetism, if they were to encounter a certain frequency of electromagnetism, would interfere with their ability to fly and maneuver. Building on that hypothesis, Elizondo says his team devised an audacious secret plan to disable and capture one of those Tic Tacs. We had proposed a, a, a honey trap. To, to try to collect um, data and information on these UAP. So this was an operation known as Interloper? That is correct. So you have a nuclear-powered carrier with other nuclear-powered vessels, uh, potentially nuclear-powered submarines, which also may have potentially nuclear weapons. So the idea is to create a, a nuclear footprint that is so irresistible to these things, we would create a, a, a trap and then that trap would be sprung. But Operation Interloper never made it past the planning phase. Interloper was stymied, wasn't it? It was scrapped. It was scrapped. It was a pretty good idea. And it was approved by a lot of people and a lot of agencies. And yet, when it finally got to the top, it was stopped. It was blocked. It's almost like somebody perhaps already knew the answer. Or didn't want us having the answer. Elizondo says the shelving of Operation Interloper was just one of several puzzling and frustrating setbacks to ATIP's mission.